believe I've made myself rather clear. I have many important things on my mind. Your Are you quite sure we need to be speaking? I don't want to see you treating any of these books poorly. Are we clear? You are now in the Arcanium, of which I am in charge. It might as well be my own little plane of oblivion. Disrupt my Arcanium, and I will have you torn apart by angry Atronox. Now, do you require assistance? And what do you plan to do with it? Do you even know what you're asking about? Or are you just someone's errand boy? You think that even if I did have one here, I would let you see it? It would be kept under the highest security. The greatest thief in the world wouldn't be able to lay a finger on it. I don't know who told you that. But I'll do what I can. What we do have are plenty of books. I'll bring everything we have on them, but it's not much. So don't get your hopes up. It's mostly lies, leavened with rumor and conjecture. Until next time. Here you go. Try not to spill anything on them. I don't want to see you treating any of these books poorly. Aye, that's the work of Septimus Cygnus. He's the world's master of the nature of Elder Scrolls, but... Well, he's been gone for a long while. Too long. Somewhere up north, in the ice fields. He said he found some old Dwemer artifact, but well, that was years ago. Ugh. Haven't heard from him since. Pleased to see us. Men are lazy and don't even bother having a watch.
the top elder scrolls indeed the empire they absconded with them or so they think the ones they saw ah, the ones they thought they saw i know of one forgotten sequestered but i cannot go to it not poor septimus for i i have arisen beyond its grasp here. Well, here as in this plane. Mondas, Tamriel, nearby, relatively speaking. <laughs> On the cosmological scale, well, it's all nearby. One block lifts the other. Septimus will give what you want, but you must bring him something in return. You see this masterwork of the Dwemer, deep inside their greatest knowings. Septimus is clever among men, but he is but an idiot child compared to the dullest of the Dwemer. Lucky then they left behind their own way of reading the Elder Scrolls. In the depths of Black Reach, one yet lies. Have you heard of Black Reach? Cast upon where Drimmer City slept, the yearning spire hidden learnings kept. <laughs> Under deep, below the dark, the hidden keep, Tower Zark. Oftan, the point of puncture, of first entry of the tapping. Delve to its limits, and Black Reach lies just beyond. But not all can enter there. Only Septimus knows the hidden key to loose the lock to jump beneath the deathly rock. Two things I have for you. Two shapes. One edged, one round. The round one for tuning. Dwemer music is soft and subtle and needed to open their cleverest gates. The edged lexicon for inscribing. To us, a hunk of metal. To the Dwemer, a full library of knowings, but empty. Find Mazark and its sky dome. The machinations there will read the scroll and lay the lore upon the cube. Trust Septimus. He knows you can know. Well, he seemed fairly normal to me. He should consider writing poetry. So, to Black Reach we go then. Dig. What in oblivion is that thing? Is that where the Elder Scrolls kept? Well, that was quicker and easier than I expected. Guess the old.
Yeah. 
Yourself. What was huh. that? Time to end.
the wrong woman to mess with. Lordship will be restored. But I honor your courage. Kreef Wolf Akrin, die now in vain. Come on! How 
glorious day, is it not? Have you no thought beyond the blooding of your blade? <laughs> what else is there? The battle below goes ill. Valdun does not rise to our challenge. I fear all may be lost. You worry too much, brother. Victory will be ours. Why does Alduin hang back? You've staked everything on this plan of yours, old man. He will come. He cannot ignore our defiance. And why should he fear us, even now? We blooded him well. Four of his kin have fallen to my blade alone. None have yet stood against Alduin himself. Well, sorry, Birka. They did not have Dragonrand. Once we bring him down, I promise, I will have his head. You do not understand. Alduin cannot be slain like a lesser dragon. He is beyond our strength. Which is why I brought the Elder Scroll. Feldir, we agreed not to use it. I never agreed. And if you are right, I no, will not need it. We will deal with Alduin ourselves. Fear it now. We shall see soon enough. Alduin approaches. So be it. you see? So you know the dragon rent you out, huh? Meant you'd come in rather useful.
message and you left the fight. So I guess that makes us the victors. I know. No getting down. He's just living on borrowed time. Oh, is that something hard? Lot Kongrach. You truly have the voice of a Dova. Alduin's allies will think twice after this victory. Nilivrach in Moro. True, this is not the final Krongra. Victory. But not even the heroes of old were able to defeat Alduin in open battle. Alduin always was Pachlok. Arrogant in his power. Uznagar Par. He took domination as his birthright. This should shake the loyalty of the Dove who serve him. Yes, one of his allies could tell us. Mat Mahus. But it will not be so easy to convince one of them to betray him. Perhaps the Hafkasayun, the palace in Whiterun, Dragon's Reach. It was originally built to house a captive Dova. A fine place to trap one of Alduin's allies, hmm? Hmm, yes. But your Soom is strong. I do not doubt that you can convince him of the need. Mm. But I meditate. No contem. Will I teach you? Do it is. Co Think of that is Fus, which calls to you. Faith upon that is fine. Let that meaning fill you. Sum Ark Mora, you will find I'm the commander of the guard here in White. I need for a hell what uh, I must have misheard you. I thought you asked me to help you trap a dragon in my palace. I'm sorry, but I can't do it. We'll just have to keep fighting the dragons as best we can. What you're asking for is insane. Impossible. Did you want me to let the dragon into the heart of my city with the threat of war on my doorstep? There must be another way. The risk is too great. Oh, do you. The world eater himself. But how can we fight him? Doesn't his return mean it's the end times? I don't know about such things. And I heard the Greybeard summon you. That's good enough for me. Now what's this nonsense about trapping a dragon in my palace? I want to help you, Dragonborn. And I will. But I need your help first. Ulfric and General Tullius are both just waiting for me to make a wrong move. Do you think they will sit idle while a dragon is slaughtering my men and burning my city? No. I can't risk weakening the city while we are under the threat of enemy attack. I'm sorry. Then I would be glad to help you with your mad dragon trapping scheme, but getting both sides to agree to a truce will be difficult at this point. The bitterness has gone too deep. Maybe. Hmm. What of the Greybeards? They are respected by all Nords. High Hrothgar is neutral territory. If the Greybeards were willing to host a peace council, then maybe Ulfric and Tullius would have to listen. I, Dragonborn, 
you are Maybe welcome you can stop the dragon. <laughs> Win? We heard the Dragon Ren shout from here. You defeated him? I feared as much. I thought it was him we saw flying east after your battle. We are not warriors. What is overlooked in the Dragonborn is not permitted to any other followers of the Way of the Voice. You misunderstand our authority. The Greybeards have never involved themselves in political affairs. I see. The dragon will lead you to Alduin, but without the Jarl's help. Parthenax has made the decision to help you. This is the road we have to walk. Even the Greybeards must bend to the winds of change, it seems. So be it. Tell Ulfric and General Tullius that the Greybeards wish to speak to them. We will see if they still remember us. Deliver the message to the warring parties. If they will listen, I will do that. King Skiva's got warm beds and cold meat. You look like you could use more. Are my men now giving free reign to anyone who wanders into the castle? Do you have some reason to be here, citizen? The Greybeards? What do those old hermits want with me? Why, there's nothing to discuss as long as that traitor Ulfric is in arms against his rightful emperor. They are getting to be a problem, but I wasn't sent to Skyrim to fight dragons. My job is to quell this rebellion, and I intend to do just that, dragons or no dragons. If 
Fair enough. We're driving the Stormcloaks back well enough at the moment, but we're already overstretched. That's what comes of trying to win a war with a bare handful of legions. If the Ember would just give me the reinforcements I've requested. Most of the Legion is tied down on the border with the Aldmeri Dominion. The Emperor can't afford to risk weakening Cyrodiil's defenses. From the Imperial City, our war here is just a sideshow. An interlude before the main event against the Dalmor resumes. Yes, yes, fine, I'll come to this Greybeard Council. For all the good it will do. I'm telling you, Ulfric's planning an attack on Whiterun. He'd be insane. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. A letter. Not sure who from. He wouldn't say, just that he was a friend of yours. Looks like that's it. Got to go. I'm referring to my face and...
disrespect the law and you disrespect me. I really couldn't care less. I've never had any respect for you guys. They say Ulfric Stormcloak murdered the High King with his voice, shouted him apart. Where do you want to go? Climb and back and we'll be off. Ever been to Windhelm? Oldest city in Skyrim by some account. They say the big old palace there was built by Ysgrimor himself. Eat our food, we we'll lose our city. How can Elda hate the Dark Elves when she knows so little about them? Be careful. It's no secret the Aretino boy is doing some ritual, trying to call the Dark Elves. He's a true Nord. He'll come around. Only the foolish or the courageous approach a Yarl without summoning. Do I know you? The Empire's you? putting a great deal of pressure on the White One. It's about time they turned it. I have the... I can't afford to... Good. I doubt the Empire. Yes. And what? I'll if come he's not with now. us, he's against I us. He knows that. They all know that. I spent... violence are gathered here, in these halls whose very stones are dedicated to peace. I should not have agreed to host this council. The Greybeards have no business involving ourselves in such matters. Peace? <laughs> I doubt it. They may put their weapons down for a moment, but only to gather strength for the next bloodletting. They are not yet tired of war. Far from it. Do you know the ancient Nord word for war? Season unending. And so it has proved. But regrets are pointless. Here we are. Take your seat at the council table. And let us see what wisdom we can find among these warriors of Skyrim. invited here. You're not welcome here. We have as much right to be at this council as all of you. More, actually, since we were the ones that put the Dragonborn on this path. That everyone is here, please take your seats so we can begin. I 
hope that we have all come no. here in the spirit you of... insult us by bringing her to this negotiation? Your chief Talos hunter? That didn't take long. Diplomat. Here, here. I have every right to be in this negotiation. I need to ensure that nothing is agreed to here that violates the terms of the White Gold Concordat. She's part of the Imperial delegation. You can't dictate who I bring to this council. Please. If we have to negotiate the terms of the negotiation, we will never get anywhere. Perhaps this would be a good time to get the Dragonborn's input on this matter. But Izmir's beard, the nerve of those Imperial bastards, eh? To think that I would sit down at the same table with that. Thou more bitch, either she walks or I do. I'm glad we agree on this. Very well, Ulfric. Enjoy your petty victory. The Thalmor will treat with whatever government rules Skyrim. We would not think of interfering in your civil war. Ha! Skyrim will never bow to the Thalmor. Unlike your Imperial friends here. You're lucky I respect the Greybeard's council, Galmar. The guards in Skyrim Legate, are a miserable bunch. We represent the Emperor. We risk life and limbs like wolves, Sorry, sir. bandits in a lot worse all day, and they complain simple. about a single achieve. arrow in the knee. I have something to say first. Here we go. The only reason I agreed to attend this council was to deal with the Dragon Menace. There's nothing else to talk about. Unless the Empire is finally ready to renounce its unjust claim to rule over the free people of Skyrim. I knew he wouldn't We're be able to resist. To a temporary truce to allow the Dragonborn here to deal with the dragons, nothing more. I consider even talking to the Empire a generous gesture. Are you done? Did you just come here to make speeches, or can we get down to business? Yes, let's get this over with. Are we ready to proceed? Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, this council is unprecedented. We are gathered here at the Dragonborn's request. I ask that you all respect the spirit of High Hrothgar. Do your best to begin the process of achieving a lasting peace in Skyrim. Who would like to open the negotiations? Yes, let's get down to it. We want control of Markarth. That's our price for agreeing to a truce. So that's why you're here, Ulfric? You dare to insult the Greybeards by using this council to advance your own position? Jarl Elisif. General, oh, this is outrageous. You can't be taking this demand seriously. I thought we were here to discuss a truce. Elisif, I said I'd handle it. Ulfric, you can't seriously expect us to give up Murkarth at the negotiating table. You hope to gain in council what you've been unable to take in battle, is that it? I'm sure Jarl Ulfric does not expect something for nothing. Yes, that'd be entirely out of character. Want in return. Wait, General, you don't intend to just hand over Markarth to that traitor? This is how the Empire repays us for our loyalty? Enough. First, let's be clear. This council wasn't my idea. I think it's a waste of time. You are a traitor to the Empire, and deserve a traitor's death. But I at least will negotiate in good faith. Since we're all here at your request, I'd like to hear what you think Markarth is worth. Hmm. The Rift would help secure our communications with Cyrodiil, and threaten Ulfric's southern flank. The Dragonborn has spoken, Tullius. Markarth will be ours. Now we'll see if there's anything behind your talk of good faith. You disappoint me, Dragonborn. I accepted your invitation on trust in your good name. But it seems you intend to favor Ulfric. I can see now that this is not a negotiation Out of all. Out the Daedric Princes, Sanguine know you, is the Ulfric. only one I would actually if consider I hand worshiping. Over Markarth, you'll be ready he really it understands demand. how to have a good time he'll and knows the importance the Empire, of alcohol. And you know it. I quite like but you're willing to sacrifice too. thousands for your own selfish ambition. Soon enough, I'll have you back under the headsman's axe, and this time there won't be any dragon to save you. As always, the Empire's fine words are worth nothing. Stop! 
Are you so blind to our danger that you can't see past your pity disagreement? Here you sit arguing about nothing, while the fate of the land hangs in the balance. Is he with you, Delphi? If so, I advise you to tell him to watch his tongue. He is with me, and I advise you both to listen to what he has to say before you do anything rash. Don't you understand the danger? Don't you understand what the return of the dragons means? Alduin has returned, the world eater. Even now, he devours the souls of your fallen comrades. He grows more powerful with every soldier slain in your pointless war. Can you not put aside your hatred for even one moment in the face of this mortal danger? I don't know about the end of the world, but this dragon situation has gotten out of hand. If this truce will help the Dragonborn here put an end to that menace, we both gain. Remember that, Ulfric. Now, back to the matter at hand. You know as well as I do that we can't hand over Markarth on these terms. Show us bones. Where will these demands end? I'm listening. We want compensation for the massacre at Karthwaston. You slaughtered the very people you claim to be fighting for. True sons of Skyrim would never do such things. Damned Imperial lies. My men would never stoop to such methods, even in retaliation. This for is your our fault, Antonius. All the blood spilled in this war is on your head. So, Dragonborn, what do you say? Well said. For once, you'll actually pay for your crimes. I suppose that's the fairest deal we're likely to get. It seems we may have an agreement. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, these are the terms currently on the table. Markarth will be handed over to Ulfric's forces, Jarl Edmund will step down, and Thangvor Silverblood will become the Jarl of Markarth. Stormcloaks will withdraw from the rift, allowing Imperial troops unhindered access. Jarl Leila Lawgiver will step down, and Maven Blackbriar will become the Jarl of Rithen. The Stormcloaks will pay appropriate compensation for the massacre at Cartwaston. You both agree to this? The Sons of Skyrim will live up to their agreements, as long as the Imperials hold to theirs. What about you, Alison? Are these terms to your liking? Speak up! I'm sure General Tullius is waiting to do your bidding. I have nothing to say to that murderer. General, you've proven yourself a good friend to Skyrim. I continue to trust that you will do your utmost to safeguard our interests. Thank you, Jarl Ellison. I appreciate your loyalty. The Empire can live with these terms, yes, for a temporary truce, until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. After that, Ulfric, there will be a reckoning. Count on it. The mark on mine. We have a lot of work to do. Giving up Markarth is a heavy price for this truce, Dragonborn. I hope it was worth it. Jarl Valgroth. So that settled I'm afraid there's a problem. You are I thought for a minute there was going to be some I've discovered trouble. who the Greybeard's Never leader really is. Never have I been really so is. disappointed. Oh well, we still have a dragon to trap and dragon Not just any dragon, but the right hand of the interesting. Responsible for many atrocities during the ancient dragon war. The blades have been hunting him for centuries, but he was protected by the Greybeards and then the Emperors. Justice demands that he die for his crimes. Until he is dead, I'm afraid my oath as a blade prevents me from offering you aid and comfort. An uncross-referencing... Ah, by calling the dragon with... He's not compared. You're... I think it's very likely... Ah. Oud yes, ready to do my Winged part. snow hunter, as I read it. My men will... <laughs>
May the gods watch over as I promised. My men stand. My men know what to do. Make sure you do your part. I'm putting my city in your hands. You do have a plan for luring a dragon here. A word of advice, never buy a used copy of the Lost Eardonian Maid. The covers are always... and the pages stuck together? I just don't get it. I swear, there must be some kind of conspiracy. Alduin, hmm? no doubt you want to know where to find Alduin. Renik Vaza, an apt phrase. Alduin, Boval. One reason I came to your call was to test your thum for myself. Many of us have begun to question Alduin's lordship, whether his thum was truly the strongest. Among ourselves, of course, Muni Maie, none were yet ready to openly defy him. Once he has his door, Mindo, Zu lost Ofan Hinlan. Um? Hmm. Gro only. Of course, I could fly you there, but not. Unik and you, free me. And I will carry you to Skaldafin.
I can't believe you sure about that. You want to let that dragon loose after all the trouble to catch him in there. Your funeral. Someone else is gonna have to help you get him back in there again. Get ready to open the trap. Pests on you. Purely seems like a really bad idea to me. Carry on, soldier. This is all part of the Dragonborn's plan. All the guns. Was do. We need thine roof here. Saran Uth, I await your command as promised. Are you ready to see the world as only a Dova can? Zukrit Uth, I warn you, once you've flown the skies of Kaisal, your envy of the Dov will only increase. Amativ. You could have been the bravest person I'd ever met. The biggest fool. A Kinneret guard won't pass through the ground. This is as far as I can take you.
Just me, or it within this mist. Many have braved the Shadow Vale, but vain is all courage against the peril that guards the way. Near Giant's Gap, in the gloom before dawn, we marched unsuspecting into the Imperial's trap. Then we stood and fought, our shield wall defending, until by dawn's light, the Legion's ranks but I never knew 
If night's end brought victory, a swift flying arrow to Sovereign Guard carried me. I do not know, but none have asked through. Alduin, his hunger insatiable, hunts the lost souls snared within this shadowed valley. Can you lead the way to where Shores Hall waits, beckoning us on to welcome long sought? I saw it fair when first I trod this long sought path. The pain and fear vanished, dreamlike, and a vision beckoned. Shores Hall, shimmering across the clouded veil, but quenched was hope by the shrouding mist. My mind is darkened. I've lost the way and wander blindly. Hurry, before Alduin your life devours. Bring word to Shores Hall of our hard fate. I'll try to hold to your hopeful purpose. Faithful Aaron. No few have chafed to face the worm since first he set his soul snare here at Southern's threshold. But Shore restrained our wrathful onslaught. Perhaps deep counsel your doom he foresaw. No shade are you. By what right do you re Ah. Living or dead. By decree of shore, none may pass this perilous bridge till I judge them worthy by the warrior's test. Welcome, Dragonborn. Our door has stood empty since Alduin first set his soul snare here. By Shaw's command, we sheathed our blades and ventured not the Vale's dark mist. But three await your word to loose their fury upon the perilous foe. Gormlaith, the fearless, glad-hearted in battle. Hekan, the valiant, heavy-handed warrior. Feldir, the old. Ah, see, and grin. The three await your word to loose their fury upon the perilous At long last. Alduin's doom is... Hold, For a hundred lifetimes, Let us counsel take before battle is blindly joined. Alduin Alduin's today. mist is more than a snare. Its shadowy gloom is his shield and cloak. But with four voices joined, our valor combined, we can blast the mist and bring him to battle. Feldir speaks wisdom. The world oh, eater. is there something hard in your pocket? I felt it he when you brushed again. Mist, shouting to get Was Alduin there something you wanted? It's very thoughtful of you.
You can be sure I will put this to good use. This hall is his gift for glory. a mighty deed. The doom of Alduin encompassed at last, and cleansed his southern guard of his evil snare. They will sing of this battle in Shores Hall forever, but your fate lies elsewhere. When you have completed your count of days, I may welcome you again with glad friendship and bid you join the blessed feasting. When you are ready to rejoin the living, just bid me so, and I will send you back. Return now to Nur, with this rich boon from shore, my lord. A shout to bring a hero from Sovngarde in your hour of need. Hail, Dragonborn! Hail! It was great, great! Wow, you beat Elder. Become legend.